I would say I'm the cheap friend because she's basically... I'm your sugar daddy. My friends have invited me to the weddings and I have felt like it should be a little bit about me. I'm like a croissant. So flaky. Oh, I just got a really horrible image. I'm an awful person. I'm going to win. I think you're going to be the worst friend. Why? Because you just give me worst vibes. For your first category. Are you the needy friend? Guilty. With my really, really close friends, if we're in a certain dynamic, I'm gonna be like, I need to like talk to you every day. It does not matter. I could be at work, I could be at a funeral, I could be at my own wedding. Where are you? Where would I? What are you doing? Are you saying that I wouldn't be at your own wedding? Sorry. <laughs> I have to have morning texts. I have to have night texts. I need to know that you've got home safe. I'm super, super needy. And if they don't message me to see if I've got home safe, the next day I'm just like, I could have been in a ditch somewhere. Whenever I feel sick, my housemate has to rub my stomach. Yes, in same. silence. In silence. Just even like this. She just just has a to bit have of contact. Like, someone just touching. Like I, I'll be in the bath. I'll be having a wee. Are you the moody friend? Guilty. Ah. I can switch moods. You know, one minute I'm like really, really laughing with someone and then I'm not laughing with someone. And I just expect my friends to be okay with that. My best friend has had to recommend um, dietary supplements for me because of how often my mood swings. <laughs> I have a in very intense hanger. So if I'm hungry and a bit sleepy. Or hungover. Or hungover. Her moodiness. Oh um, Lord. Yes. Are you the horny friend? Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> guilty, guilty, I'm horny right now. You would never be able to go to the club with me without me abandoning your ass. We'd be sat in the pub with my parents and she'd be like discussing my, my sex life with Stuart, my dad. I forgot I'd taken her to the pub. She, I left with the guy. Oh no. She was throwing up <gasps> in the pub toilet passed out in the toilet <gasps> and then the pub staff came in and were like, excuse me, you need to leave. <laughs> and you were getting and back. He was like... <laughs> Are you the flaky friend? Guilty. Yes, I am the flaky friend. If I don't want to do something, mm. I will turn my phone off mm. so I don't have to tell you that I'm not. Wow. But like, here's the thing, Kalechi, here's the thing. I will turn my phone off for like four days. Oh. Generally, in terms of other people, like a standard across the world, I am very flaky, but all of my friends are more flaky than I am, so I'm the responsible one. I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> like, so it's all of my friends, position. yeah, all my friends are like, S stable Susan. <laughs> She's there on time, every time. Are you the meme obsessed friend? Guilty. I've noticed that like my chats, it's just like 10 memes in a row, mm. and it could be like, the last time I've actually like said hi to you mm. was like four months ago. Yeah. There is nothing more I love than spending quality time with Tilly, laying in bed, tagging each other in memes, not saying that a is... single word to each other. Last night we honestly laid in bed for about two hours and I just looked at her and I was like, I love quality time with you. Me, I'm not catching any more feelings. Also me. And there's a picture of a little girl catching a ball. Because <laughs> it's representing Yeah, no, I <laughs> You've got more than me. I know, I'm winning. Are you the self-obsessed friend? Guilty, Guilty. I'm self-obsessed. I'm more self-obsessed. She's more self-obsessed. Friends just want to have an intimate moment with me, and I'm like, yeah, so we're just out right now looking glorious. Just So my boyfriend broke up with me last night. Yeah, babe, okay. wait. I will refer to myself. <laughs> Or you try and meet them, they'll be saying something happened in their life and you're trying to think something better that happened in yours. So they'll be like, my cat died. You're like, well, two of my cats died. <laughs> no, I'm not like that. Yeah, me neither. I'm not like... Me neither. <laughs> Are you the TMI friend? Guilty. Oh, I've got thrush at the moment. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Mine is like sex and poo. Me and my friends always talk about poop oh. and periods. Oh. Yeah, there have been so many phases of just like my friends being like, 
Stop telling me. We don't need to hear about <laughs> this again. <laughs> so I'd be like, let me describe my last period to you, but in full detail. And my friends look away. You're and I'm nasty. like, no, no, we're discussing this. I think it's grim. You're or nasty. Like, yeah, I'm nasty. But mm. in a really, like, I mean, it's fine for me to do it because I'm like so petite and cute. Do you know what I mean? So when mm. I do it, it's like, oh my God, why is this baby bird talking about her period? Like, you know mm. what I mean? Being TMI with your female friends is so important to yeah. me because then I wouldn't have the amount of knowledge that I do now. Yeah. In terms of like, even like when it comes to like sex, you need to talk about gross shit when it comes to sex because sex is kind of like... Gross. Gross. If you don't talk to your friend about your bodily fluids, are you even best friends? Bingo. Ah! Bingo! Bingo! She bingos. This is not fair, that was rigged. <laughs> <laughs> she genuinely <laughs> devastated. <laughs> What has bad friend bingo showed you? It's probably that women's friendships are quite resilient. It's almost like in opening up a discussion about like being flaky and emotional and just having like basic human functions mm -hmm. and emotions, mm -hmm. it's almost like women are people. <laughs> like you are often expected to be pitted against one another. Mm. So there is like, a, and, there, and there is an intimacy in like sharing like the, the female or the, the experience of being a woman. No, you're like your hit man. Is that what it's called? Oh no, you're my hype man. Hype man. That's oh, it. that's nice. I'm the hype man. You're well, the best hype man I could ever wish for. Thank you. It's all right. Your female friends are almost like the sisters that you've gone out to choose. We love these things about each other yeah. because it's what makes us unique. And I wouldn't swap my friends for anything no, in the world. <laughs> Don't cry on me. <laughs>